so I don't know if you can notice, but I'm kind of in a new setting because I moved. The move happened unexpectedly. The house sold faster than we thought, so we kind of didn't have a place ready to go because we thought it was going to be two to three months so right now I am at my grandparents but they were nice enough to give me my own room so yeah but I'm just going to show you some empties that got brought sorry I'm moving around it's because I'm usually I'm sitting down but right now I'm standing up and I'm not used to standing up wow if I did that it shakes interesting okay so I'm going to show you some of the bag of bags of empties that kind of got moved with the move and also that I have accumulated recently so I'm just going to pick from my handy dandy bag okay <clears throat> so let's start with uninteresting stuff first I finished cotton rounds I finished this like sore muscle back soak I don't really know if these things work I mean I feel like a bath helps my sore muscles anyway, so this might just be a complete gimmick. I'm not entirely sure, but I didn't really feel a difference when using this. I finished up a bottle of nail polish remover. I have already bought another bottle of the same brand. I finished this face mask. This is the... I don't know what brand this is, but it's like the ones that you see at Walmart all the time. Um, I like peel off masks just because they take off the extra dead skin, but I wasn't a fan of this, and I'm not a fan of packets, so I probably won't be repurchasing another packet, even though I kind of did receive this as a gift. Me and my brother finished a facial scrub. There's already another one in the tub, or like in the shower area, I just call it a tub. Um, my brother likes to use this the most. I just mostly use it like on my chest, on my back, and if like I'm having really trough, trough, rough, um, uneven skin, that's when I'll use it. If I don't feel like using my Clarisonic brush dupe. Yeah. I finished, I'm pretty sure I finished two of these. I could have sworn I had finished two. I don't know where the other one is though. I know I finished two. I just don't know where it is right now. Or did I show it? No, I definitely have two. Finished two of these. I finished a big pack and a little travel size pack. But I must have thrown this away or someone must have thrown the little one away. I finished another makeup remover. Um, oh, <sighs> am I going to repurchase? I'm not going to repurchase the wipes. I mean, the only time I'm ever going to repurchase wipes is probably when I have like an event where I wear a lot of makeup that I need like a wipe to take it all off or most of it off. But otherwise, I think this is such a waste of cloth. Same with this. Um, you have to use like a, a cotton round and I just don't want to be wasteful because I think this these products are really, really wasteful. So I won't be repurchasing them, though this is great, and this I wasn't too fond of, so, yeah. Um, I finished the body wash coconut soap. It felt like a dub soap, honestly, that just smelled nicer, but I'm not going to repurchase this, and I also did receive this as a gift, but I wouldn't spend my money on it. Sorry, if I you hear me sniffling or my voice sound weird, I'm sick right now, but I've been sick for a week, maybe, so gotta get back into doing videos. I finished the Living Proof Full Thickening Cream. I actually really, really like this. You felt the volume. You felt like your hair had more texture to it. Um, unfortunately, I won't be repurchasing it or purchasing it at all. I'm just, if I have the option to get the sample, I will, but mm -mm, not worth the money you have to spend for it. I finished a Moonlight Path Body Lotion. Probably won't repurchase it just because I have so many lotions. I finished another lotion. This is the Bath & Body Works Aroma Therapy Lavender one. Probably won't repurchase it either. 
hand sanitizer. Sorry. I finished this little packet of... Ooh, and it's getting all over my fingers. This is Calmoseptine ointment. And there was a point where it was like really dry. Oh, Coco's growling. I don't want her to growl or bark. So there was a weird time where like my armpits, like, I don't know, it was going through a weird like phase where they would burn and they would itch. And this really helped Calmos Batine Lotion. <laughs> I finished two skincare things. I finished, well, two more. The Ula Hendrickson Truth Cream and the H2O Hydrating Treatment. And I got both of these in an Ipsy bag. I At first, I didn't really like this. I liked this more towards the end. I wasn't a big fan of the scent, but I liked the hydration I give. But I probably won't purchase it because of the price tag. This I liked because it was quick. It was easy. It moisturized like that but it has so many bad chemicals for your face that I won't purchase this yeah and last thing that isn't makeup is I finished a Bath and Body Works candle and this is in nutmeg and spice number one I probably won't repurchase this because it's so sickly sweet I mean smelling it like this because I haven't smelled it in like a couple of months maybe in a month maybe and the fact that my nose is clogged up so I'm getting a very faint smell but probably won't repurchase it but I will reuse the canister for makeup which is the last thing in this bag which I have in this container here it looks like a lot but it's not I went to two twin packs of Ardell's 105 lashes and they're is an eyelash that's still intact-ish only one of them um i love these eyelashes they're my favorite eyelashes for performances just because they're they're larger than my natural or they're longer than my natural eyelash but they don't make me look ridiculous so gotta love my ardell's 105s two twin packs i went through a couple of foundations i went through my NYC Smooth Skin. I think this is discontinued, so you can't even get it. Or maybe it's repackaged, but probably wouldn't buy that again. I went through my Maybelline Superstay Makeup. I I thought I loved this. I really did. And I always thought it just, like, um, it would always break up in this area of my face. And I thought it was, like, my natural oils, the base, but it's actually this foundation. So it's a great foundation. You just... I don't know, it kind of breaks up in this area of your face. It just, every time, no matter what I did, it would always break up. So I probably won't repurchase this. I went through the Makeup Forever found HD Foundation in 127. I thought this was okay. I probably would have to try another sample before I decided if I wanted to purchase it, but I'm not just, I'm not really into buying high-end expensive foundations. I finished the eye, homemade eye primer I made. I'm probably gonna cut this out, cut doing it, because I have so many eye primers I have to finish up. I went through a clear mascara. I would use this as brow gel. I have to get a new one. Went through two mascaras. This is the Tarte Lights Camera Flashes. Um, if you hurt, get this in your eye, like if you're doing your eyelashes and like you accidentally stab yourself, it's going to hurt. And I wasn't a big fan of it, so I probably won't repurchase it. And the It's So Big Mascara, I got this in an Ipsy bag, didn't really care for it. It was just in my makeup bag. I finished the... There is a garbage truck outside. Whew. Anyways, I just want to finish this video. Please don't mind the um, the noise. I went through a Wet n Wild Mega Eyeliner Liquid Liner. Probably will repurchase this or like another drugstore eyeliner like that. And last thing, I went through a lipstick. Yes, 
And it is the L'Oreal lipstick in 315 True Red. There's like that much left of it, but there's no point because I have another one of this that has not been touched. So, yeah, that is that. Those are my empties. I'm sorry I haven't posted. It's like the whole moving process. I've been sick. So this is my video because it's kind of easy to do. I don't have to plan anything out. And I will be up and running doing videos next time. So I will see you guys all later.